spinal uh, dural arteriovenous fistula is an abnormal communication between a small artery and uh, a vein and uh, usually they are more commonly encountered in the thoracic and the lumbar area of the spine. They are uh, uh, relatively uncommon uh, lesions and uh, they are very difficult to diagnose at first because the first uh, symptoms uh, can be uh, confused with uh, many other uh, more common uh, problems uh, such as the degenerative uh, uh, disease of the lower spine. The uh, uh, diagnosis is usually made with uh, MRI and the MRI often raises the suspicion of the presence of uh, abnormally dilated uh, uh, vessels around uh, or uh, on, uh, behind the spinal cord. And uh, the definitive test is uh, an angiogram to indeed demonstrate that there is an abnormal communication between the artery and the vein. The uh, symptoms uh, of a uh, dural arterial venous uh, fistula of uh, the spinal cord are uh, um, a variety of symptoms and uh, that makes the initial diagnosis quite difficult and uh, challenging. Um, about one-third of patients complain of uh, sensory changes uh, uh, like uh, tingling or numbness uh, involving uh, one or both lower extremities. Other patients complain and notice uh, progressive weakness, usually limited at first uh, to either uh, lower extremities. Occasionally, the initial symptom can be uh, pain, which quite often has uh, a burning type of characteristics. With the progression of the disease, patients also notice uh, um, trouble with uh, uh, bladder problems. We uh, have recently uh, reviewed our experience with over 150 patients with uh, uh, spinal dural fistula. And uh, we have found that, uh, again, the diagnosis at first can be quite difficult and it is not unusual for uh, patients to have symptoms for several months before a final diagnosis is made. We also have found that uh, since the introduction of MRI, the interval between the onset of symptoms and the diagnosis has not changed uh, significantly, and that was uh, a surprising finding. It is not unusual for patients with the spinal dural AV fistula to have at times uh, surgery done for uh, reasons not necessarily directly connected to the fistula because at first it's, uh, the, the symptoms can be uh, misdiagnosed as uh, re uh, being related to um, degenerative disease of the lower spine, which is much more common problem. We found that uh, after uh, surgery, the majority of patients, they uh, either remain the same uh, or uh, uh, improve, and uh, therefore the surgery is a very uh, safe and effective treatment, and uh, we feel that uh, newer endovascular techniques such as embolizations must uh, uh, demonstrate to have uh, to be quite as effective and uh, safe as uh, traditional surgery before they can be recommended to the majority of patients with this condition. The main goal of the surgery is uh, to uh, stabilize the progression of the disease. There is a substantial number of patients that can uh, have uh, improvement of their symptoms uh, um, after surgery. Endovascular treatment uh, uh, consisting of embolization of the artery in the abnormal vein is uh, uh, frequently considered in the treatment of uh, uh, these lesions, but so far it has not been demonstrated to be as effective as uh, surgery, and therefore we would consider uh, only in those cases where we feel that endovascular treatment has a high a chance of uh, um, cure, or if the patient has uh, any significant uh, medical problem which would uh, preclude uh, more traditional surgery. The uh, treatment of this condition can be very gratifying uh, both for the physician and the patient and their families 
because uh, times uh, uh, some of these patients uh, uh, come to us uh, uh, with the progressive weakness uh, uh, that has evolved in a uh, full uh, uh, paralysis of both lower extremities. And uh, it is uh, not that unheard that, that after successful surgery, some of these patients can again with uh, a lot of uh, uh, physical therapy and sometimes can regain a good degree of uh, function.